Good morning, folks. Today we're going to be hitting a far side solar eruption, a super typhoon near China, James Webb revealing much more than Hubble, solar forcing of weather here on Earth and on Mars. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where M-class solar flares have continued but remain relatively impulsive and still are not firing CMEs towards the Earth. The one that struck yesterday morning was weak and didn't produce a geomagnetic storm. No big ones heading this way, but the far side of the sun remains very active. For the second time in the last week, a titanic eruption went off the back side of the sun, heading directly opposite of Earth's direction gotten lucky twice this week. Meanwhile, we're still monitoring the sunspots. They do have flare potential as we've seen, but the medium level magnetic complexity is preventing larger flares so far. We'll keep monitoring them as that's what you have to do in sunspot maximum. We're heading next to the South China Sea, where the strongest tropical system of the year is churning south of the mainland. It is sliding west, slightly northwest, and will impact Asia in the next 36 to 48 hours. Going to be a rough storm where it hits. Up next, folks, this deep space image from Hubble was praised for how much it revealed so far away, and it was a leap in astronomical observation at the time. Now, let's see what James Webb's view has of the same region. Whoa. Lots more picked up with a question mark looking twisted galactic feature in the center. This comparison pretty much sums up the technological advancement from Hubble to Webb. Good article here on solar forcing of North Atlantic pressure, leading to modulation of clouds, storms, rain, and temperature patterns. They found the sunspot cycle timing to the oscillations with about a two-year lag from sunspot maximum, which actually matches the geomagnetic maximum. More confirmation of the sun's impact. And lastly on the article front, an incredible paper on cloud plumes on Mars. Back in March and April of 2012, they spotted the largest one ever, just as major solar storms hit the red planet. And that record just fell again as data from 2016 was reviewed and shows an even bigger plume. And once again, right on the heels of a big solar storm event. Same process, different planets. Folks, we're gearing up the schedule of events at Observer Ranch. Here are the days I will be out there doing talks, answering questions, including ones I don't let you ask on the live streams. Every day there is something at the ranch, even if it's just an Observer Meetup for you to chat with other like-minded people for a change. But I do hope to see you guys out there, maybe for the birthday festivities near the end of October. Book your stay now at ObserverRanch.com. Call us if you have questions. I can't wait to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.